I thought it'd be neat. I thought it'd be cool as like a service to the community. If every now and then, if there's a tournament that people need, uh, you know, people want to know if there's a tournament coming, coming, coming around that they, that they should be, should be watching or something like that. Uh, people don't realize this, but, uh, and I think people don't realize this because of marketing, I suppose, but GMO fall is actually tomorrow. Okay. Or tomorrow starts tomorrow, Friday, Friday through Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is content day, which is kind of cool. And as part of content day, King of the Cube will be happening on Tope BBQ and BTS Smash, uh, which is tight. So this is my first time kind of, you know, in some capacity partnering with some other, well, I, you know, we're, we're Red, Bull, Red Bull's uh, involved, but you know, it's going to be uh, part of the official Galint Melee Open uh, broadcast schedule. And because of that, I'm very happy because I don't have to produce my own fucking show. So June is going to do it in Flashburn, uh, which is great. I just get to commentate again. And that also means hopefully no technical issues. Although, as you guys know, OBS did crash at the beginning of Riptide Top 8 uh, in front of 10,000 plus viewers, 20,000 plus viewers. So uh, it turns out that nothing is a guarantee and it could all go to shit. But anyway, whatever. It's neither, that's neither here nor there. I'm happy because I just get to focus on commentary. I'm bringing on a very special guest for commentary. Someone that the Melee community hasn't seen in some time. They are a Melee commentator, but they took a little bit of a step back from commentating for a while. And uh, tomorrow I'm bringing them on because I think they would have a great time commentating the set. I am trying to bring on some interesting commentators uh, with me. Uh, Atriok has told me that on any given week, on any given week, if I want, uh, if I need somebody in a pinch, I can, I can hit up Atriok and he said he'd do it. Uh, but, um, and, and by the way, we will have Atriok back on very soon because I've decided every time I bring a Sheik player on, I'm going to hit up Atriok because I know he loves Sheik, of course, he's a Sheik player. Uh, and I, I will spoil a little bit that the opponent after Gatsurishi is a Sheik player. So we're going to get Atriok back on King of the Cube very soon, but okay, that's neither here nor there. This is, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. And, um, GMO, uh, is, is happening all weekend and, uh, you know, people always ask, you know, where do I, how do I figure out when majors are happening? You know, all this stuff, this, that, and the other. Uh, I'm letting you know right now. I'm probably going to put a very short video up, kind of advertising Glit Melee Open. I think you at home should register for this tournament because uh, I think that, I, I know it's like, I think it's pretty small right now. I think this tournament's kind of been flying under the radar for obvious reasons. Summit's coming up, Smash World Tour is coming up. But I would actually really like it if online tournaments didn't go anywhere. I think that just because we're gradually switching back to offline, I don't think online tournaments should uh, disappear. I think that it's good that big online tournaments continue to happen every now and then for, you know, people who live in regions where they can't travel as much or, you know, for rising stars to prove their talent. And just because it's very convenient. So if you have nothing better to do this weekend, do consider signing up. Uh, I will be commentating, of course, as well as King of the Cube will be on content day. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's also got some, I know I noticed some pot bonuses. Uh, there is a $1,000 Canadian minimum prize pool for uh, NA singles, which is cool. Um, there's also an EU singles bracket, which I think is a $500 Canadian minimum prize pool for that. I know Nikki and Frenzy are in that bracket. Um and they've got ladders running all three days too. GM always does this thing where they have they have the main bracket, but they also have like coastal ladders. So you could just keep playing. You can play serious, uh, not as serious as a bracket set, but like serious sets through basically the whole event, which is really, really awesome. And you'll always see, I think SFAT might've won one of these at one point where he just basically just kept going. Um, and, and you know, you can, you can run ladder matches basically uh, the whole time that it's active, which is pretty awesome. Uh, They've also got a merch shop, which is going to have apparently a goom wave with gold leaf and the buttons bringing this whole conversation together. Uh, I have a little thing with talking points, um, if you guys were wondering what I'm reading off of. But yeah, they've got, they're selling a goom wave with gold leaf buttons. Wow. Who would have thought of that? A controller with gold leaf on it. Insane. Nobody's ever done that before. Certainly not the Panda Global controller, uh, which is not gold leaf, but gold plated, right? Panda? Because that's what it says. It says gold plated, which is different. Anyway. Uh, I think that's all I had to talk about. But yeah, uh, Friday is going to be dope. Make sure you turn into King of the Cube uh, Friday, 5 p.m. As always, uh, you can just come here. We're actually going to be restreaming the exact same broadcast to both channels, Tove BBQ and BTS Smash. I would like it if you watched here and gave me all your Twitch primes, but you can watch it on BTS Smash if you want. It's fine. I love I love the guys over at Beyond the Summit. They're cool too. Uh, but they also got some other dope shit. Apparently, they got a Mango versus Zayn Iron Man run back. 
That's going to be like at after. I think that's going to be after King of the Cube. I'm seeing Mango versus Liv. I, I'm just telling you guys what I see. I have a little content. I have a thing. I have an info sheet that I'm supposed to be reading off of. I see on your Mango versus Zayn Iron Man run back from GMO. Okay, to me, that's fucking sick. So that should be after King of the Cube. I'll probably, I might even raid the channel or something. Uh, we'll, we'll see, but that should be tomorrow. So yeah, uh, make sure you watch that. And there's going to be a bottom of the Smash Mountain interview featuring Pipsqueak. There's going to be a local TOs panel featuring Ryobeat, Deer, Contra, and Schmoop. Love Schmoop. I love all those people, but you know, I just wanted to say I love Schmoop because Schmoop's a funny word. And a return of locals compilation of short videos from locals around the world. Oh, that's sick. So yeah, there you go. I mean, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good time. Uh, you guys should all support. If you're not following Galint Gaming on Twitter, uh, you really should because it is a channel that or a, a, a account that they're trying to grow. And um, yeah, it's cool that Deer is still doing the GMO events, even as offline tournaments come back, even as Deer starts planning. I think there's gonna be a Battle of BC uh, early to mid next year, um, which is you know the 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 major series, or at least the semi-major series that he runs. But um, cool the GMO still still happening, because I think that, you know, in some, in some non-trivial way, these tournaments have really carried us through the pandemic era. So make sure you register if you're uh, fiending for some melee.